Hey everyone, this is YouTube Media. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick overview and unboxing of the Canon Rebel T3i DSLR camera. I'm sure you've heard of it, one of the most popular DSLR cameras for consumers as it's a very professional and capable camera, but much more affordable. Now, even though the new T4i is out, this is still a pot great option for, you know, saving 100 bucks and you still get pretty much almost all the identical features. So. Now they're both still 18 megapixels and I got this one off of buy.com so here's everything that comes inside of the box. One of the things is this uh, nice uh, strap with a leather like back. Also the AV out cords and mini USB so you can connect this to a TV. Here's the power cord. And here's the 18 to 55 millimeter lens because this one is a kit. So let's go ahead and take a look at the camera. We have the remote control sensor, self timer light, a nice rugged grip here on the left. On the other side is the lens release button, the flash button, the microphone, and also the depth of field preview button allowing you to see the actual depth of field before you shoot. Now under this cover is the remote control input along with the microphone input. The other cover here is a mini USB output and mini HDMI, which is really nice to have on a camera. On the top, we have the strap hooks on both sides, the focal plane mark, a shoe mount um, uh, to connect like a microphone or flash, the mode dial, the shutter button, on and off switch here, of course, and then the main dial. On the front are the speakers, the magnify buttons, all your general menu controls very similar to most Canon cameras, the preview button to switch between LCD screen and lens view, and also the main viewfinder now. The memory card compartment is on the side, it uses SD of course, it's nice that it's not in the same compartment as the battery, which is on the bottom. Uh, so let's go ahead and put the battery in, you can also see there's a regular uh, tripod mount for it. Now what's nice about the battery is you can still open up the compartment even with the tripod base on it. A lot of times it will be blocked by that. So now let's go ahead and put the lens on. You just screw off the cap that the body has on it. Then you just line up the lens's white mark with the markings on the body and then twist it in and it locks into place. Now one of the greatest features about this camera is the LCD screen. It pops out and you can actually twist it. So let's go ahead and turn it on. 180 degrees in either way. This unbelievably comes in so handy when you want to take a picture higher than you or re see yourself recording. You can put it at any height and just bend it downward. So this comes in really, really handy. So it completely folds out and uh, turns either way. So now I'll go ahead and show you some pictures and video I took. Now remember it does allow you to take high-res JPEGs or RAW images, which is really nice. And here's some video I took of it also. It also does allow you to do the full HD in 30 frames per second, or you can do 60 FPS for lower resolution. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and all the links will be in the description below if you want to check out purchasing this, such as I did from buy.com. And uh, thanks for watching.